Hello and welcome back to the American Patriots channel. Glad to have you here today. Today's episode is part one on race relations in America. In a recent poll, the majority of Americans think that race relations have gotten worse in the last five years. Not only that, but the majority also think that race relations will not improve whatsoever in the next five years. It all has to do with how we are treating each other. On this channel, we stand for diversity, equality, and justice for all. We stand for being kind and benevolent towards others. So there's nothing more abhorrent and distasteful than prejudice and discrimination. We need to look into the facts today to find out what is going on so that we can determine how to turn this ship around and make things better. So the first thing that we need to do is get a better understanding of what discrimination is and how it comes about. It all starts with tribalism. Tribalism is an affinity toward a group that shares common interests, beliefs, or culture. Now, tribalism is a natural characteristic of man, but it's also a characteristic of animals and birds as well. You've probably heard of the saying, birds of a feather flock together. Well, that's referring to tribalism. You don't see robins flocking together with cardinals. By the same token, we normally don't see elephants grouping together with giraffes. They just tend to gravitate towards their own kind. In man, it's characterized by a strong loyalty toward one's own group and a broad skepticism toward others. Now, this skepticism can lead to something else, though, which is prejudice. Prejudice is prejudging someone by forming a negative or adverse opinion of them without having sufficient grounds or knowledge. Now, all of us are prejudiced at one time or another. For example, we may judge someone simply based on their outer appearance. However, prejudice is unacceptable. So I'm going to draw a line on the page because prejudice is below the line, and below the line means unacceptable. On the other hand, tribalism is a natural characteristic of man and it is an acceptable behavior. At best, prejudice is unreliable because we're judging someone without having sufficient information about them. But at worst, prejudice can be reckless because we could consider someone guilty of something when they didn't even do it. Now, you may have heard of this saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, that applies perfectly here when it concerns prejudice. Don't judge a book unless you've read it from cover to cover. I'd like to give you an example, and you may never have heard of this before, but there's a creature out there called a Cecropia, and I'd like to show you what this creature looks like. This is a picture of the Cecropia caterpillar. So what do you think about it? Well, to me, it looks a little scary. It's so big, and it's got those spiky things sticking out of it. Not only that, but it kind of looks like if it wanted to, it could chew your hand off. And to be honest, I think it looks kind of ugly. But then I'm judging it based on its outer appearance. I'm not judging it based on what lies inside. Now it turns out the Cecropia caterpillar will spin a cocoon. So what emerges from this cocoon? Well, it turns out it's the Cecropia moth. And here's a picture of what that looks like. This is one of the biggest moths on the planet. And I think it is stunning, just really beautiful, the patterns and colors on there. So, lo and behold, something that I thought was ugly was really beautiful on the inside. So nature has just taught us a great lesson. To not judge 
based on outer appearance, but instead to judge based on inner character. When we form opinions about one another, we need to base them on individual merit and personal character, not on outer appearance or group affiliation. After all, when it comes to tribalism, we are members of one tribe. We are Americans. While tribalism can lead to prejudice, prejudice can lead to discrimination. Prejudice is a thought process and discrimination is an action. It's where those negative opinions about someone lead to actions against them. Discrimination is the act of restricting from someone the opportunities and privileges that they deserve solely based on the group that they belong to instead of based on their own individual merit. Although discrimination still occurs today, thankfully, it is illegal in many of its forms. For example, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, along with other laws, makes it illegal to discriminate against someone based on their age, their race, their color, religion, sexual orientation, parental status, national origin, or pregnancy. However, since prejudice leads to discrimination, this is the most important point of this video today. Prejudice is at the heart of discrimination. Prejudice is at the heart of the problems that we're having today in America with race relations. So as Barney Fife of Mayberry would say, we need to nip it. We need to nip prejudice in the bud. Now listen, men, and listen good. There's liable to be trouble out there today. We're liable to have folks among us who are here for more than just a good time, if you know what I mean. Now the minute it looks like there's going to be trouble, we got to nip it! Nip it in the bud! Nip it! Nip it. Let's hear it! Nip it! Back. That old Barney, he sure knows how to tell it like it is. Well, although we know that some discrimination is occurring in America, there are those out there that believe that racial discrimination is so widespread that it is systemic, meaning that it's everywhere. And the media often promotes that narrative. Now, is that true or is it not true? Well, I'd like to use the scientific method in order to answer that question. So what we need first is a hypothesis, which is a tentative assumption. And then we'll need to test that assumption to see if it's true or not true. I'd like to use money because money is really easy to measure, so it's a great yardstick to determine if there's discrimination going on or not. What we can do is we can look at the various races in terms of their income levels and their poverty levels. Now, if any of the races seem to be disadvantaged, we can assume then that that is due to discrimination, and then we can go on and test that assumption to see if it's true. So let's look at the various races in terms of income levels and poverty levels and see where they fall. All right, so let's start by looking at the median household income of the four major racial groups in America today, groups A, B, C, and D. Now you might wonder, why did I use A, B, C, and D and not identify which group is which? Well, the reason is we're trying to avoid prejudice. So, for example, Group A has a higher income than the other three. Now, we could assume that a member of that group also has a high income, but in reality, that might be far from the truth. So it's better to keep them anonymous, and that way we won't make such assumptions. So now if we look at the actual numbers there, sure, Group A has the highest income, followed by Group D, and then B down to 56,000, and Group C has the lowest income. 
So right away it's starting to look like groups B and C may be experiencing racial discrimination because their incomes are lower on average than the other two groups. Well, let's move on now and look at the poverty rates of the four groups. Groups A and D, there again, are, seem to be doing pretty well. Their poverty rate is around 9%. But then group B is much higher and group C is even higher still. So here's our assumption then. Groups B and C are experiencing racial discrimination in the form of economic inequality. Opportunities that the other groups are having are being withheld from groups B and C. Now remember though, that's a hypothesis and we're going to be wanting to test that to see if it's true or not true. Well, that's all for part one today. Next time we will test this hypothesis to see if it's true. We will determine if widespread discrimination in the form of systemic racism is causing the economic inequality that is being experienced by groups B and C today. I'll see you then.